We have been having so much fun with our seasonal syrups and the honeydew has been uh, no exception. Great in spritzes, uh, great in tall drinks, as you'd expect. I really like playing with this and other bold flavors where this isn't required to be the dominant flavor or kind of be the solo star. More of a, you know, work it in where it's more of a, a choral performer. And this is, what we're gonna do is a riff on a mojito, but we're gonna use honey flavors of honeydew and the um, an absinthe, which I think uh, is gonna knock your socks off if you give it a shot. So, we're gonna, we're gonna move the specs around that you'd normally expect. Do a full ounce of this syrup. To a half a line. Okay, we'll just. I like to cover my hand over the top of the glass when I'm muddling. It prevents uh, anything from coming up at, back at you, or like if you're doing it, you know, with a friend or something, back at them. You just want to make sure that's good and expressed, because I don't like to muddle the herbs in here because uh, they just get bitter. So, but give this a nice good, good whack of that. Now, the mint really has no chance of being the star in this show, but if you're gonna call something a mojito, it should have some mint in it. And we're gonna put a couple of leaves in there just to kind of, you know, play along with the theme. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and add a quarter ounce of absinthe. If you're a fan of absinthe, I might encourage you to put a little more in. If you're scared of absinthe or you're thinking, I don't know about absinthe, a quarter ounce is a great place to start. And then ounce and a half of white rum. that little taste. Oh, that's fun. Uh, okay, Collins glass. When I'm doing these drinks, remember we're gonna shake and then dump on top, leaving the ice that we've shaken in the drink. So make sure you leave enough space so this all can fit in here. I got some soda water here. I like to put my soda water on the bottom. one way to do it or you can shake and then add your soda water and then dump it. I like to spin if there's anything in there. If there's anything in my tin I like to give that spin to it so the leaves and stuff don't stick to the side. Now we're gonna go ahead and Garnish that with a lime wheel. I think those are pretty. Make sure it smells nice and minty and do that. And then of course, anytime we garnish with a mint bouquet, a tall glass like that, we wanna bury our straw so that when you're, when you're, whoever's drinking it gets a nose full of mint. There you go. Honeydew absinthe mojito, enjoy.